Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, the 27th of April. Welcome to one of our, I think, our ninth assembly. Not sure. I'm sure you're counting. Anyway, so may the Lord be with you. And as always, we meet in the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. Today's story is based around Luke chapter 24. The end of Luke's gospel. Because it's talking about when Jesus ascends to heaven. Something for you to think about. How many ways do you think there are of saying goodbye? I can think of English, goodbye. French, au revoir. Can you think of any more? Ask your parents now, see how many they can come up with. There are lots and lots of ways of saying goodbye. Ascension, that's what we're talking about, was Jesus' big goodbye. At least the goodbye where he's been on earth and ready to go to ascend to heaven. He was returning to God in heaven, but he left a promise with us all, which is still true today. Forty days after Easter, Jesus climbed a hill with his friends. It was time for Jesus to go back to God in heaven, but he left a very special promise. I wonder what that might be. His promise was, I am always with you. I am always with you. And we talk about that a lot in school, saying that we're never truly alone. When he was with his friends, he gave them a really important job to do. He said, go out to the world and share the good news of God's love. Wow, that's an amazing job. To leave everything and to just give up after they followed him and just leave and go out and spread the word of God. It must have been quite a scary and exciting thing to do. Jesus also promised his disciples that special power would come from God. And we'll talk about that in another assembly. And then in front of everybody's eyes, Jesus just disappeared. And then angels appeared and said, but Jesus will be back one day. You can you imagine how shocked everybody was? One minute they thought Jesus was dead, the next they saw him, they ate a meal with him, they were going to touch his hands, and now, all of a sudden, he's gone again. Do you know, it's really sad when someone dies, isn't it? There's a really lovely story I know, that I read some children once, a story called Badger's Parting Gift. It's all about when somebody died. And all Badger's friends were really sad and upset. Badger had died. And so one of them sat down and said, Yep, yeah, hang on a minute. What special gifts did Badger have? They remembered when Badger had taught them to fly a kite or make some special food. So although Jesus' disciples were sad, they still had to understand that he'd left all those wonderful messages for them to go out to love one another. And that he promised that they would never truly be alone. Do you know what goodbye actually means? Well, have a guess. Write it down. Goodbye actually comes from, it's a shortened form of the words, God be with you. God be with you. So every time you say goodbye to someone, you're actually saying to them that you want God to be close to them. So maybe it's a blessing in disguise. Perhaps you want God to be with them as they on a dangerous journey. Or maybe you know you're going to miss them and you want to be sure God will be close to them, even if you can't be. The French word for goodbye, I'm sure a lot of you know, is au revoir, which really means till we see each other again. Or see you again soon. You're actually saying when you say au revoir, I'm looking forward to seeing you again. That's kind of a really good message of hope, isn't it? The German is Auf Wiedersehen, which basically means the same. I'll see you again. I wonder if any of you know any other words for goodbye. I'm sure there are lots. And actually, do you think they all mean God be with you? Or 
I will see you again. The disciples didn't say a final goodbye to Jesus because they believed that he would come again as king. And this is still part of the Christian belief. It's difficult at the moment when we're not seeing each other. When we have to wave goodbye to each other and friends on FaceTime or Zoom or whatever platform you're using. But remember, goodbye isn't the end. Goodbye just means God be with you in French until we meet again. So really, when we say goodbye to each other, it's not a final thing. And that's what Jesus was trying to say to his disciples. Although I have died, I am risen in heaven and I will be with you always. A promise which we know he keeps today. I know lots of you have mums and dads who have to go out to work. And I've got friends you've not seen for a while. But maybe you could just put your hand on your heart and say goodbye to them quietly. Because you know that they will return. Jesus left the gift of peace with his disciples. It was a special peace, even beyond the peace that the world is able to give. The Jewish word for peace is shalom. Maybe you can practice saying shalom at home. Peace in Romanian is pachai, along with a hug and a kiss on each cheek. Shanti from India, along with hands in a prayer position and a simple bow. Salam from the Middle East, along with a bow on one hand, a bow, sorry, and one hand on the heart. Wa from China, with hands folded across the chest, and a deep bow. Mir from Russia, it's given with a great big bear hug. And peace in Britain, we usually shake hands, but not at the moment. I wonder how many other ways you can find the same peace to each other. We all say, and the peace of the Lord be always with you. And you say to me, and also with you. I wonder if you can find some more. Email me. Put it on Facebook. Let me know. So once you think now, let's put our hands together and some prayer. Lord God, you are my strength. Hold my hand in my weakness and teach my heart to fly. With you there is nothing to fear. There is nothing to worry about. Hold me tight in your embrace so that I can be stronger than the, than the challenges in my life. We pray as always at this time for our friends at St James School and our families across Clitheroe and families across the world. We pray that those who work in the NHS and our key workers will remain safe. We pray that we will soon be back together. Pray for our friends in Kenya, still really quite hungry and not able to go out, not able to work. Prayers always for each other and that we will back together again soon. Amen. Don't forget, goodbye actually isn't the end. It means God be with you. I want everybody to remember that. Felt a bit sad today. I was missing everybody lots and lots. Well then, I remembered all your faces and all the kind things that you've been saying. Thanks very much to your mums and dads for joining in with all the work. I know it's not easy, especially if they're working from home. Keep in touch. Don't be a stranger. Remember, give us a ring. Email us. Put it on Facebook. Unfortunately, you won't be able to come to school. We are hoping that we will be able to see you soon. Let's wait and see. Right, we miss you so much. Take care. And may God bless you. Goodbye. See you soon. Is Lulu in there? No, she's gone. Anyway, goodbye from Lulu as well. See you soon.